Today what we are going to do is sync multiple video clips within DaVinci Resolve. So this is, I've got this video shoot here that I did, and I've got two cameras, video one, which is the one that we're looking at, the straight on one, and then video two, which is going to be from an angle. So what I can do here is sync both of these videos so that I can cut back and forth between the two. First thing you want to do is jump over into the media page this is where we start the sync process. I've relabeled these for the purpose of this video, but all you need to do is click the two videos, make sure they're the correct two videos, and have those selected. So I'm clicking with the shift button on both of them. They're both selected with the round boxes around them. A bit of advice, have somebody, if you don't have a clapper board, have somebody clap on the screen. You can see that's what he's doing here with his hands. He's giving me a clap so that that will help DaVinci know where to start that sync point. With both videos selected, right click and go create new multicam clip using selected clips. It'll give you a pop up. You can rename it. I'm just going to leave mine default as is. Change the frame rate if you need to. I'm leaving it as the default that what it's shot at. The one thing I am going to change here is this angle sync. Now what this is telling me, by default it's going to be at in. What I want mine is I want mine to be at sound. So this is telling DaVinci Resolve, I want you to start that sync at where the sound is happening. And that's where that clap comes in handy. It's okay if you didn't clap. Uh, it's pretty good about recognizing where the speaker starts speaking and syncing the sound as well. You can also uncheck this if you want this move source clips to original clips bin. What that does is when you sync it, it'll create actually a separate folder and I'll show you what I mean. So I go create, it's real quick. It took those two clips, it put them in a bin and it created one new file that has both of those synced together. And I'm gonna jump back over to my edit window within the edit page, I mean, not window. So within this, there's a couple things you can do. You can click on this little box here in the upper right corner that's going to create a single or double editing window depending on how you've already got this set. I've already got mine set how I want it so I'm leaving it as, as it is. Drag your video one multicam or whatever you've changed it to down to the timeline. As you can see by default it's defaulting to camera two and I actually wanted to default to this camera one. You can see that I've got a microphone on the camera. I want to use that as my primary sound and I want to use that as my primary video. This is the majority of the video that's going to be used. So what you can do is click on the video in the timeline, right click and select this option that says switch multicam clip angle. And I'm just going to switch to angle two. And you can see now that what's happening is it is showing all the video from camera one. It's also selecting the audio from camera one. Notice what we've got here is video, video one multicam angle two, video one multicam angle one. You can change your sound if you want by using that same process. Right clicking on it and now I'm changing it to angle two. So this is telling it I want to use the sound and video from that camera. Now we need to start doing some editing here but we can't actually see both pre and post videos at the moment. So what you can do is hit this little drop down here to multicam and now we've got both in a single window so we can see where we're cutting back and forth from. First things first, down here at the bottom you've got three icons. The one in the middle is saying if I edit anything it's going to edit both the sound and the video together. I don't want that because I only want the sound coming from camera one. If I do both of those together, when I do my edits, it's going to switch sound, which I don't want. If you click on the one on the right, what that's telling you is when you do your edits, only edit sound, don't edit camera. So what I want is the one on the left. This is basically saying when I do my cuts, it's going to cut back and forth between the camera video, not camera sound. Next thing, I'm just going to go to where I want to do my edit point. So we start in the video and we have this person walk in from the left. That's where I want to cut to my second camera so I can see both people. All you have to do, and this is where it's nice and easy, mouse over where you want that cut point to be and click on it. And you can see in the project window, it's now cut over to that. And if you look down here, we can see that's where it cut it at, but it did not cut the sound. It didn't make any changes to the sound, so that's really important when you guys are doing this stuff. 
And I'm gonna move it ahead. And now let's, he walks out of screen and we wanna jump back to what's the action that's going on on the main. So I'm just gonna mouse up over it, click on it again, and we get that second point. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So it's actually pretty quick and easy to do in DaVinci Resolve as long as you get everything set right and as long as you don't accidentally have the wrong options uh, set from what you're editing. Uh, I've edited up to uh, three videos at the same time. So you just have one, two, and three in the screen here. It'll hold four. Uh, I don't know if you can actually edit and sync more than four videos in DaVinci Resolve. Maybe somebody can leave a comment and let us know on that. All right. Hope you found that useful, and as always, have a good day.